You are joining us for lesson 39 where we are revisiting verb form 7 with a particular focus on al asma the isms. Right, let's get started. Now, verb form 7 is in fa'ala. Let's have a look at the example we looked at last time. So we looked at انقطع ينقطع انقطع انقطع ينقطع Now let's look at our asma. منقطع منقطع انقطع Now today's lesson is only focusing on al asma. Now before we get started and have a look at our dictionary definition, just something to note here. After a lot of debates internally amongst ourselves, we decided to expand on the ism mafoul because grammatically, even though it's very rarely used, monqata is in fact correct. Now let's have a look at our dictionary definition before we delve into expanding on each of these. So as we've done in previous lesson, using the harmsware, let's have a look at what this particular root in this particular verb form means generally. So you have to be cut off, be or get separated, be chopped off, lopped off, cut through, be sundered, be severed, torn apart, be disrupted, broken, broken off, torn off or to come off. And that's the overarching definition. Now let's expand on the SM file. So the word we're expanding on is Monqatiun. So we have Monqatiun, Monqatian, Monqatiin, Monqatiani, Monqatiaini, Monqatiaini, Monqatiuna, Monqatiina, Monqatiina, and now the feminine Monqatiatun, Monqatiaten, Monqatiatin, Monqatiatani, Monqatiatini, Monqatiatini, Monqatiatun, Monqatiatin, Monqatiatin. And as we've said in previous lessons, each of these words is an expression of these characteristics. So it's a different combination of each of these characteristics. And again, with the exception of proper, so all of these isms are common. Do go back and have a look at the proper uh, lesson, the previous lesson, and how to make uh, an ism proper. Now let's move on and have a look at the ism mefoul. So we are expanding on our ism method and we have munqata'un, munqata'an, munqata'in, munqata'ani, munqata'aini, munqata'aini, munqata'una, munqata'ina, munqata'ina, and now the feminine, munqata'atun, munqata'aten, munqata'atin, munqata'atani, munqata'ataini, munqata'ataini, Munqata'atun, munqata'atin, munqata'atin. And again, each of these words is an expression of each of the characteristics or sifat of the ism. And again, do go back and revise those lessons if you feel that you need to. Now let's move on to the master. So our master is inqita'un uh, so we have inqita'un inqita'an inqita'in inqita'ani inqita'aini inqita'aini and again you'll notice these are grayed out because for the master to pluralize we use the feminine so we use inqita'atun inqita'atin inqita'atin now let's move on and have a look at our second example for this verb form. So previously we looked at infetaha. So infetaha yenfetihu infetih unfutiha yunfetahu and our isms munfetihun munfetahun in fitah. And again our focus for this lesson is specifically the ism 
And again, we've got a little bit of a bonus for you because we have decided to expand on our ism methyl, even though it doesn't appear that often, doesn't get used that often. So let's make us start with, same as previously, the dictionary definition. So the encompassing meaning here for this particular root, for this particular verb form is to open, to unfold, blossom, to develop, to emerge, to open up, or to be opened. Now let's have a look at our ism file. So the word that we are expanding on is Monfeti hun, so monfeti hun, monfeti hen, monfeti hin, monfeti hani, monfeti haini, monfeti haini, monfeti huna, monfeti hina, monfeti hina, and the feminine monfeti hatun, monfeti haten, monfeti hatin, monfeti hatani, monfeti hataini, monfeti hataini. Munfeti hatun, munfeti hatin, munfeti hatin. And again, each of these words or these isms is an expression of the characteristic. So it's a different combination for each of the characteristics, with the exception, I can't stress this enough, of definiteness, where all of these isms are common. Do go back and have a look at how to make uh, an ism proper. Now let's move on to our ism method. So we have munfetahun and then our feminine munfetahun sorry munfetahatun munfetahaten munfetahatin munfetahatani munfetahateni munfetahateni Munfetahatun, Munfetahatin, Munfetahatin. And again, this is what these isms are an expression of, these characteristics here. There's our key. Now let's move on to the Masdar. Finally, we have reached the Masdar and we're going to be expanding on the word Infitah. Infitahun, Infitahan, Infitahin. In fita hani, in fita haini, in fita haini. And as we've seen previously with al masadir, in order to pluralize, we use the feminine plural. So we have in fita hatun, in fita hatin, in fita hatin. And now let's bring up the key, and that will give you the characteristics of each of these isms. Now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you for joining us. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a new upload. Goodbye.